Philip, just share your risk. Sure. <laughs> okay. So it's a Windows 7 desktop you are using right now, or what it is? Windows 8. Windows uh, 7. Why? Why? So outdated, man. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and nothing else to do. <laughs> okay. Just show me your hardware configuration so that uh, I mm -hmm. can guide you. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yes. okay, that is your uh, VS per client, right? Yeah. So, uh, I have uh, one second, let me log in. Yeah, please, uh, please close all the unnecessary tabs. Now we are recording that session, and I used to upload the things over YouTube as well. So, student will be confusing. Please close all the unnecessary tabs and stay with single tab only, which we will use. Okay. Yeah. So that your VC one CP, <coughs> it's your test lab or what it is. Um. Which one? The CP lab? Yeah, yeah, dash yeah. lab. Yeah, CP okay. dash lab. Yeah. Uh, so here you have configured your exchange server. That is fine. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, okay. Man, I need your help as well if you can do something for me. Sure. Uh, just go to your exchange server. Uh-huh. Uh, I need to record, I uh, you know. <coughs> I just need to record three videos for exchange, like uh, three uh, very, very basic kind of topics, right? If you can do, mm -hmm. uh, I will discuss with you offline, okay? I just yeah, need, I just need a session, I means I just need a uh, skill recording, no voiceover, nothing. You no just have, problem. yeah, you just have to uh, show the issue, click here and there and just record the video for three minutes, not more than that. No problem. Because I have got some requirement and I have to share mm -hmm. the things. Sure. Okay, before, uh, okay, please uh, log in, please log in, then I will explain the thing. <laughs> it's a, I hope it's a bare metal uh, hypervisor, right? Yeah, so basically I have two holes right now. Mm -hmm. Um but I have under there, so basically I have these two hosts. Mm -hmm. My goal is there's two, uh, there's a DC running up here. There is mm -hmm. a DC, there's two DCs, yeah, DC1, DC2. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of my goal is to run uh, some of the, um, some of the uh, uh, Citrix things like director and things <laughs> like that here at the DM. And then okay. have yes. Uh, can yeah. you create an uh, can you create a new node for Citrix so that we can put all the you know Citrix related uh, VMs into uh, that particular node? Uh, you can create it on uh, any host. Okay. okay. You want a VM? Okay. No, no. I do any... not. No, no. I do not want any virtual machine. I need to create a host here. Not you host. Need a host. Uh, node. Node. Sorry, node. You can create no a one. yeah. You can create a folder or something like that. Oh, like okay, it takes, okay. Okay. So create a folder. Yeah. Just create the folder by name it takes so that uh, whatever we will do, we will do inside the yeah new folder. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. new cluster. Uh, the first option. The first option. New host. Okay. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, click over there, click over there. New host and cluster folder. No, no. Yeah, yeah, just create new cluster. Click on the new cluster. Okay. Okay, okay now, now it Citrix uh, training or Citrix uh, lab, whatever uh, do you want to give. Okay. Um, perfect. Uh, click on next. <coughs> and finish it. Now, where it will appear, okay, okay, now, inside Citrix lab, okay, okay, guys, uh, before that, uh, buddy, uh, as you are sharing your screen, 
I want you to uh, open your notepad file. Open the notepad because uh, open the new notepad, new one. Yeah. So, Ryan, what is happening here? In case of Philips, he is using the bare metal hypervisor, which is from the VMware. Okay. So, whenever we are using Citrix, uh, like we can, Citrix is compatible with all the uh, three uh, hypervisors, like Citrix hypervisor, VMware VSPRA client, and Microsoft, that is Hyper-V. Okay. So, in case of uh, Ryan, not Ryan, in case of Philips, he is using a VSPRA client that is from VMware. Okay. So, the plan is that, like in your case, like when you will <coughs> update your uh, hardware with the uh, Citrix hypervisor or VMware, I will recommend you to go with the Citrix. Why? Because, you know, in that way, like Philips uh, will, uh, he will be also, uh, you know, quite familiar uh, with the Citrix hypervisor and you are also seeing the things what we are doing here on VMware. Okay. So, Philip, uh, uh, first, just type uh, the hypervisor. Point number one on Notepad. Yeah, hypervisor. And here we can use three hypervisors. Citrix hypervisor first. Mm -hmm. Second one is, uh, is your VMware VSPRA client that we uh, what you are using right now. Mm -hmm. And third one is your Hyper-V that is from the Microsoft. And in your case, you are using the second option, VMware, right? Now, whatever the hypervisor you will get into the production, you have to configure the Citrix delivery controller, right? So, in your case, we will create new virtual machine with Windows Server as a delivery controller. So, make it a delivery controller. Perfect. And the memory, uh, the minimum memory, uh, what we have to give to delivery controller for testing purpose, it should be 8 GB. <coughs> okay. And uh, uh, two CPU, virtual CPU are fine. Two vCPU you can mention, yeah. And uh, storage 60 GB is enough. 60 GB of storage. So that is a configuration. What we have to do in this? Uh, okay, before that, uh, guys, I've sent you one Google Drive link to download. Uh, did I send or I forgot? Uh, no, yes. Uh, you, you do not have Citrix ISO files with you right now, right? No. Okay, my bad. Actually, I forgot. Okay, no worries. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, do one thing. Uh, minimize the notepad file. <coughs> now, create new virtual machine with Windows Server. Okay. Inside that, it takes a cluster only. Yeah. Okay. I think I already have a clone. I can just clone. Yeah, clone it. Uh, okay, so Ryan, what is clone actually? Whenever we are creating any clone from the virtual machine, so initially we create one virtual machine, uh, we can install the necessary things, whatever is required, and we can take a like in Citrix, it is known as a template, in VMware, it is known as a snapshot, right? Flips, right? Yeah, <clears throat> snapshot, or in Hyper-V, it is known as a checkpoint, right? So, like Wording is different, but uh, uh, from that, you know, checkpoint or snapshot or the template, you can create a new virtual machine within a second. So that is what he's doing right now. Yeah, go ahead. Now, <coughs> name <coughs> this virtual machine. <coughs> no, no, wait, 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 man. <coughs> name it like CTX in caps, CTX in caps. <coughs> C T no no C T Citrix C T X. I got I got a question. Oh, quick question. Yeah, tell me. So Philip, uh, you were already was I supposed to create this or you did this on your own? You, you created this entire uh setup or we were oh, supposed to do this today. These are my lab for other things. Okay, okay. 
I was wondering why you have everything set up already. No, no, just for other things that make it that way, it's faster to bake, like AD and stuff. Like that. Okay, okay. Okay, so, uh, Philip, so name it CTX, T for Tamil Nadu, C for Citrix, oh. yeah, CTX, hyphen, uh, DC, that is delivery controller. Perfect. Mm. Hyphen, hyphen again, zero one. So, that is something which is meaningful and that is that means that stands for Citrix Delivery Controller 01. Okay, if you are having multiple delivery controllers like 02, 03, 05, right, and so on. Okay, go on next, click on next. Okay. Mm, wait, wait, and just show me the data. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, two terabyte you are having available in perfect. Okay, go with the, that or that only. Okay. <clears throat> Next again. Finish. Okay, just let me know it's a vanilla machine, like completely fresh machine, or what kind of template it is. Which one? Uh, from which you have created the virtual machine, man. The snapshot I'm talking about. Oh, this one is a 2022 um, base in, uh, server. Yeah, means you have not joined the template into your domain, right? No, 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 no. Perfect. That's what I what, what I want. Okay. Now power on the virtual it is it completed. This is the craziest. Okay, power it on. <coughs> yeah, launch the console. <coughs> yeah, wait it. Wait for it. Okay, in the meantime, your WhatsApp is opened on your uh, laptop, is it, man? WhatsApp is uh, on the phone and no, it's no. open on the laptop too. Yeah, I can click on the link if you send me. Yeah, just, uh, just give me a minute. In the meantime, yeah, no. while this machine is booting up. And Ryan, I want you to please uh, be ready with your hardware by tomorrow, okay? Yes, yes, I have it. Yeah. Because what I will, my plan is that some configuration I will uh, perform on the Citrix hypervisor and some of the configuration I will do <laughs> on the uh, Citrix hypervisor. So that is how, what I planned actually. Mm. Philip, just open your WhatsApp and yeah. you too, too Ryan, both of you, please open your WhatsApp. You will get uh, uh, one link, right? For the yeah. Google Drive. Click on mm -hmm. that. Click on that. It will uh, ask you to uh, like uh, give access or uh, something like that, right? Yeah, need access. Yeah. Yeah, just click on the request access. I do not type anything, it is optional. Just click on request access. Mm, okay, I got access from uh, Philip and Ryan both, okay. Philip, you can refresh the page. Uh, you have got the access. And Ryan, you also got the access. Refresh the page. Okay. Now, you have to download, uh, like, uh, just give me a minute. Okay, so you have to download the first file at topmost priority. <coughs> uh, 
and uh, <coughs> uh, Ryan, for you, you have to download the third file. Means you can download all the three files. I will guide you how to do that. Because in your uh, bare metal hypervisor, Ryan, what we will do, we will uh, install Citrix hypervisor, not the VMware one. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, you can download all the three files and uh, you can keep, uh, you can create one folder and you can keep all the things over there. I was thinking this download this whole thing three of them. Yeah, pre download it. Yeah. I hope your internet is uh, speed up. Uh, um, how much time uh, will it take to download it? Maybe uh, five minutes, five, six minutes. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's 15 percent. Okay, now in the meantime, go to your VM, go to your virtual machine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, quickly join the machine into your domain, okay? DSPP is configured over there or you are using the static IP address man? I am I have DSCP, but I can uh I can go with let me get the IP address and then I'll make that uh, static. Okay, do it as per your convenience, whatever you yeah. have. I think it is already getting IP from DSCP, no? Yeah. Then so why are you are putting it in a static one? In that way, it doesn't change. Maybe if it reboots or something, I prefer not to change. No, no, that is not the you know best practice. You can reserve it for that machine from your DSCP scope, right? With the uh, MAC address, okay. you can do that. Okay, so. Do one thing, make it auto, yeah, put DNS only, put DNS only, and open your DSCP scope, I will uh, guide you how to do that. Open your DSCP uh, scope, yeah. Is that here? Uh, it should be here. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. And like in this machine, you are having your DSCP pool. Okay, so uh, that is coming from my router. So I don't have <laughs> DSCP down here. Okay, me. Okay, I got it. I got it. Uh, in, uh, in that case, please uh, go with the that option only. But you was preferring, okay. yeah. Please uh, okay. put the static. Means your router is delivering the IP to your machines, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, not an issue. Yeah. Go with that only. Perfect. Now quickly join the machine into your domain.
and the host name it uh, will be ctx hyphen dc hyphen zero one and put your domain name whatever it is <laughs> uh. mm -hmm. so, okay, okay, not an issue. Uh, that okay, uh, click okay, click okay, click okay, yeah, close it and reboot the machine. In the meantime, go back to the like uh, download. Check the status. Is it downloaded? Yeah, it's, where it's it downloaded. One, two, and uh, uh, where it is? Where it is downloaded? Checking right now. Mm -hmm. uh, citrix, citrix. So it this is the so which this one it's in here. It's still downloading. Uh, so the first one is downloaded. The other ones are still downloading. Okay, so, uh, other, one, other one is not required right now. The first one, which is settings, virtual apps and desktop. You uh -huh. have to put it on your data store. Got it. Okay. Yeah, put it on your data store so that we can use that ISO media. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not sure how much time it will take. Let's see. Uh, both of you guys in uh, in uh, USA only, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about um. Uh, Philips, you are in USA only, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, which part? Dallas. <laughs> Sorry, come again. Dallas, Texas. Uh, Texas. Yes. Yeah. I think you have downloaded the same ISO file twice, man. Looks like it, but it's one more. So, why we are doing this? We are just simply copying the ISO file to the storage so that we can use that ISO file to install the Citrix core components inside the virtual machine. Okay. Now, Go to your uh, delivery controller, the VM. <coughs> yeah. Launch the console. Login over there. And login with your domain user account, okay? No, no, not with the local admin. Yeah.
हम्म हम्म इट विल टेक सम टाइम ओके सो गाइस आई थिंक फिलिप फिलिप कैन यू हियर मी यस आई कैन आई थिंक यू कैन डू दैट मैन राइट देयर इज नथिंग कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सो लाइक इन दिस कॉल ना ओनली फोर मिनट्स आर रिमेनिंग एस आई टोल्ड यू वी आर हैविंग फोर्टी मिनट्स लिमिटेशन राइट सो Let's have a tea break, and I will be sharing the invite in not five in ten minutes. Okay, is it fine, guys? Okay. All right, no problem. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank uh, you. Yeah, Philip. In the meantime, now please copy the things into the your uh, that thing, right? Uh, data store. Yeah. Okay. I will. Yeah, uh, please complete that task. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So once it will be done, now please text me hi on WhatsApp. I will share the invite. Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.